Um, you, I don't know if you realize that you do this, but you sometimes have a tendency, and I'm, I don't mean this is a bad thing. When I, you, you know, so you'll come in in the morning, and I'll say, "Hey, how's it going?" And you'll, <laughs> you'll just say this thing that seems like it's kind of off the wall, but generally leads into a, a great story, which is kind of what you did this morning. You came in this morning, and I'm like, "Hey, how's it going?" And you said, "Well, Greg nearly scared me to death yesterday." Well, that's what happened. No, no, I know. It's Do a you want me to be like, oh, nothing. No, no, no. It's a completely fair answer. But sometimes you say stuff like that, and then you just look at me, and I'm like, well, okay. Tell me the story. Well, he did. I, I almost, well, I thought I was going to have a heart attack. Actually, I think I had like a small panic attack yesterday. <laughs> so this is how this went. I got home from the gym, and I was doing some laundry, took a shower, and I was playing music. I was playing a really great playlist that I put together that means absolutely nothing if anybody else wants to hear it. Um, and I got out of the shower and was just kind of arranging things on the sink and every now and then I get so fed up with the number of things on our sink that I just like have to throw some out and clean it and I was like all frustrated and annoyed. And in my frustration, I hear, hey, and I look, and Greg is no more than six inches from my face. <laughs> I didn't hear him open the door, walk upstairs, come into the room, nothing. Enter your space. Yes. <laughs> he was right in my face. And thankfully, my brain worked quickly enough to process the fact that it was Greg. Therefore, I didn't throw something or swing a punch. But I screamed. And here's the thing. I don't scream like girls shriek. I just kind of yell. So I think I just went, ah, for <laughs> I believe way that. too long. And then everything started processing and I felt really overwhelmed and it resulted in me just falling on the floor and sobbing for about two minutes. <laughs> and Greg thought it was going to be funny because sure. when you sneak up on people and scare them, it's yes. usually pretty funny. But it was not funny, and I just sat in a ball and cried, and I don't think he's ever felt worse <laughs> about something that he's done. So in that sense, it still worked out for you all right, because now you're going to hold it over him in, mean, indefinitely. I think I'm going to be less at risk of him sneaking. He did it to me in the grocery store the day before. I was just looking, trying to find some food, and he came up behind me and went, huh, and you don't do that to somebody in public. <laughs> Because that was one of those, like, I, I was ready to pull an elbow. You just, you don't do that. Um, so two times in a row he got me. And this one, I just had no control over my emotions. <laughs> and all of them were happening at once. And that resulted in me sitting in a ball on the floor. <laughs> Sobbing on the floor. towel crying. Was it so, was the music so loud that you literally couldn't hear anything? Or were you so zoned in on what you were doing with the sink? That, or both? combination of the two the music was very loud our house acoustically is very isolated that when you're upstairs you really can't hear anything that's happening downstairs so i didn't hear him come in one because of music and even if i i didn't have the music on i probably wouldn't have heard him our dog is the worst because he was sleeping in the closet two feet from me and didn't come out until i screamed and then as i was crying he was trying to like lick me on the face to make me feel better terrible guard dog so that was great. Um, but yeah, just I heard nothing. There was no inclination in my mind at all that he was home or going to be. <laughs> right in your I face. I, all I can say, I mean, it's a funny story. All I can say is our boy's probably lucky he didn't get like a, you know, quick karate chop, in a, you know, because I mean, that would be your, I would think that would sort of be your instinct in that situation. Like you said, fortunately, you recognized him before you started yeah. throwing punches and well, because I saw his face, and my brain did process, that's Greg. But then everything else just like fell apart. overwhelmed me and, and then resulted in tears. Another day in the life of Hartwick. I had a really bad crying headache after that, though. I don't know if you know this, but after you cry a lot, you get a headache. So all night I had a crying headache, and no matter how much wine I drank, it just, it just wouldn't go away. It took me about two minutes to breathe right again, too. No, I didn't know that. That's, that's a good thing well, to know. Yeah, information. When you cry too much, you get a headache.